Good morning. Uh, you've got a fair dose of modeling data and context, I think, so I can move quite quickly. Also, the moderator has cut me down to three to five minutes, so I'm going to go five. quite far. Okay, I can, and I keep on asking for a minute uh, in between, but nevertheless. <laughs> so, you, you, you know, you've got a good sense of the background. I was just emphasizing uh, some of these things. Uh, perhaps the point here is that I'm presenting uh, the National Development Plan as developed by the Planning Commission. This is an advisory body uh, set up by the President uh, two years ago uh, and asked really to address the various challenges uh, facing South Africa, uh, including climate change, but poverty, inequality, education. So it's quite an uh, all-encompassing plan. Uh, there's a specific chapter in this plan on, 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 on the environment and climate change, and, and this is important. Uh, uh, there were some debates about uh, where uh, we should discuss climate change and environmental issues. And as you suspect, uh, it could be a cross-cutter cutting across everything, and it could have also been lost, but we have a specific chapter on it. The chapter started off uh, uh, talking about a transition to a, carbon, a low carbon economy. The final chapter really is much broader, uh, and this reflects the debate in the society and reflects what we want to say about it to include environmental sustainability, climate resilience, and a transition to a low carbon economy. Uh, they're, 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 they're separate issues uh, for us. So what are some of the recommendations that the, the, the Planning Commission, uh, which by the way has been accepted uh, by the South African Cabinet as a basis for future planning uh, in government departments? Uh, what does it, the plan really say? Well, the plan uh, is of the view that we should use our mineral and natural resources to fund the transition. We understand the many challenges we have, including education, health, poverty, and inequality, and our approach the, 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 to the economy and our growth model is really to use our existing resources uh, to create a more diverse and inclusive economy. Uh, we're also of the view that uh, we should address our development ch challenges that ensures uh, environmental sustainability and build climate resilience. Uh, and, and this really addresses uh, the debate about adaptation, mitigation, and development. Uh, this is the order in which we see things. Also, uh, the issue about uh, the use of mineral resources to fund the transition. Uh, the point really here is that uh, this is going to affect uh, the rate of transition in South Africa. It's going to be a debate. The peak plateau, it you know, might take a bit longer, might take, so, so there is an issue about the rate of transition, if that's the way we're going. We also are not underestimating the skills, technology, and institutional capacity needed uh, to transition to a low carbon economy. There are new mechanisms, uh, new, new institutions will be required, new skills required, and this is a big issue and, and, and focus for us. Uh, you've heard about the carbon tax, just to say that we're supportive of the carbon pricing mechanisms and we're of the view that they should be implemented within a wider suite of mitigation policy instruments. Uh, we we'll also talk about uh, green development and green products. Our belief is, given South Africa's uh, context, that we're, uh, you know, we, we will engage in, 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 in uh, developing technologies, uh, green products and services, but these would be mostly niche markets. We are not about to compete uh, with major players in the major market segments. Uh, in terms of public infrastructure, just quite quickly, you know, we're doing, we, we're well also saying the, 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 the obvious road to rail uh, 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 movement, increase in public transport, uh, and we have an additional challenge, which is really uh, our legacy, a historical legacy of our spatial arrangements. Um, we had quite a few dormitories of labor um, uh, and, and, and who, who lived uh, in these dormitories and worked uh, very far from their places. So we have a particular spatial challenges and we really say moving pl uh, people close. This is a big people closer to jobs. This is a really a big focus uh, of, of, of our infrastructure and, and, and transport systems. We're also uh, quite keen on investigating the regional energy uh, solutions. If you think about food, energy, and water security uh, in our country, um, 
nationally, and if you think about it in a regional context, it just changes the questions uh, and it changes the solutions quite dramatically. So we're really keen on thinking through uh, regional energy sol uh, solutions. The other important thing perhaps is just an issue of data uh, that we, 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 we lack sufficient and, 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 and there is a debate about the data and the credibility of the data and one of the big proposals in the plan really is about uh, taking the, the, the issue of data quite seriously. So I'd, I'd stop there and thank you. Thank you.